Good afternoon, groovy citizens of Earth, and happy Tuesday. So first of all, I want to say I did not do a car vlog on yesterday because yesterday I just was not feeling good at all and I still had to get up as you know in the DMV area we ended up getting some snow not some snow we got quite a bit of snow and so I had to come outside shovel off the porch the steps the sidewalk the driveway clean off my truck and I cleaned off the top of my mom's and so by the time I did all of that, the last thing I thought about doing was motivating anybody because I needed some motivation at that point. And I did, I went in the house, that man almost failed going up the steps, but I went in the house and made me several cups of tea and that motivated me to lay it on back down. Anyway, so hopefully you all are doing great. If you got snow where you live, I hope that you all are okay. And you weren't like some of the folks, unfortunately, that were on, and I, if I'm not mistaken, I believe there's still people stuck on the beltway that have been there overnight. And so that's unfortunate too. But you guys, just please be careful out there. Tonight, it's going to go down. It's going to be very, very cold tonight. So that means that everything that's wet right now, it's going to refreeze. So please be careful. And let's go into today's topic. Today's topic is stop looking for shortcuts. Stop looking for shortcuts. So in order to be successful, you have to put in the work, no excuses. Can I say that again? Because somebody in the back of the room didn't hear me. I said, no excuses. If you want to be successful, you have to put in the work, period, end of sentence. Okay. How much time, now this is a quote, two quotes I'm going to share by Les Brown. How much time do you put into working on your dreams? And you don't have to answer me with that because it, to me, it doesn't even really matter. But I want you to think about how much time are you putting into working on your dreams? Now, we all have the same 24 hours in a day. But the question is, how much time are you spending on working on your dreams? How many books have you read in the last 90 days? Are you, and that's assuming that you're reading books, try, excuse me, trying to enhance the knowledge that you have or to gain knowledge that you need. And then he also says, what new skill or knowledge have you acquired? What investment have you made in yourself? I'm gonna say investment or investments have you made in yourself. And as I said that, it made me think about my coach. I call my coach, my friend, my mentor. Bob Gates is just all around an awesome guy. I love it when he tells his story of how he used to, because he said he's always been an entrepreneur. He realized having a nine to five just wasn't gonna work for him. And he started out selling watches. But now he's running Circle of Champions. He's made his first million. And I'm praying that God will bless him to make several more million. He's good at what he does. He helps entrepreneurs. He helps speakers, all of that kind of great stuff. But do you realize, so when I first went to one of his classes, it was free. It was held right here up the street at Scripture Cathedral. I think that's uh, the name of the church up, up the street right across from Six Flags. And they have classrooms inside the church. And so they offered classes. Like, you know, my church, we offer free Bible study classes and what have you. And, and my mom and I, somehow another, I saw an e email, and I remember registering for it, and it snowed. So they had to cancel it. But then I was happy when I saw that they had changed the date. And so, you know, reading really is fundamental because we went... The class was awesome. And I was like, dang, it's too bad this is a one day class. Cause I mean, this class was awesome. And then towards the end, he said, all right, this is what we're gonna cover over the next seven weeks. My mom and I looked at each other like, seven weeks? I thought this was a one day class. I said, I thought it was too. So I'm looking, I'm taking my phone, taking a screenshot and all that good stuff. And like I said, reading really is fundamental because it was an eight week course. For some strange reason, I just didn't see that. And I got so much out of that course but I didn't have the money to invest in his program at that time. And I said, Lord, if he offers his classes again, I'm gonna invest. And sure enough, several months went by and he offered another class. And I registered for that one, it was free. Came to an eight week class, learned so much. And he offered a package of like 12.97, if I'm not mistaken. And I, I raised my hand, I signed up for it wrote my card number down and and I was so excited that was the first time I invested with Bob and then the second time I invested I upgraded my membership 
and I paid for the women in business. I forget how much that was. The third time I invested, I upgraded again because now I wanted to be a diamond member. Because see, to be a diamond member, ooh, that's awesome, y'all. That's five grand. So that was five grand, <coughs> excuse me, on top of the 1297, on top of the nine, whatever it was for the women in business, right? <coughs> but I'm getting something out of it, so I don't mind. You don't mind investing in yourself when you're getting something out of, out of it. A few years go by, he offered an option to become his apprentice. And I knew I wanted that. And I remember when I talked to him about it, he said, I knew that you were going to be the one that was going to take me up on that. That's a $20,000 investment. Did I just have $20,000 to invest? No. And I'm still paying for it every month. But you know what? It's a blessing. Because I'm investing in me. And I'm going to tell you what I've learned. When you invest in yourself, people see you differently. And they say, oh, you know what? I don't mind helping her. Or I don't mind helping him. Because they're investing in themselves. So I'm going to get pour out. Just like right now, if I said, Bob, hey, I want to do this workshop. Will you do it with me? He's always on board. He says, absolutely, Michelle. I got your back. I said, all right, great. We're going to do a 50-50 split. You know why? Because I'm still learning. And I don't mind including my, my coach, my mentor, my friend in on what I'm doing. Because he has an audience that I don't yet have. And I know that with his help, it's really going to be a success. So I said all that to say, not to brag. Oh, and I forgot because I wanted my mom to be a diamond member on her birthday year before last. I said, well, Bob, we need to do it today because my mom's going to reach out to you because she wants to become a diamond member. But I wanted to do it for her. So that was another five grand. And he was so excited. And when he called my mom's name to come up to the front of the room, she's looking like, what the heck is going on? I said, I'm just going up. See what he wants. <laughs> and when he presented her with her diamond packet she was like oh my god because we had just talked about it a couple of days earlier so I said all of that to say that you need to make sure you are investing in yourselves there are no shortcuts yes we can go to YouTube yes we can go to we can go to Google and learn pretty much anything you want to learn but sometimes it, it takes you investing in yourself and stop trying to, to, to come up with shortcuts to get that mentor that's going to really walk with you every step of the way to achieve your goals. So a lot of the, the times when you go on to, like I say, YouTube or to Google and you look up people's information, they're only going to give you so much as they should. And then they'll say, now, if you want to work with me, this is going to be the cost to work with me one-on-one -on -one to help you get where you need to be because the information they're giving you is just kind of basic information, good information, but it's basic information. But you're still going to need that one-on-one -on -one help. And so that's why everybody's business pretty much is designed the way it is because, like I said, you still need the help. <laughs> and so you need to invest in yourself. Simple as that. Stop trying to take shortcuts. That's just like, you know, how many times I've had people say, well, Michelle, you know what? I'm trying to get into doing videos. What's the best way should I do this? Or what kind of camera should I use? Or, you know, all these different questions. I can give you the answers to that. But why not invest in yourself for me to work with you one-on-one? -on -one? So, unfortunately, I've had to cut back on doing a lot of that. Because in this world, things that are worth having are not always going to be free. So we have to stop looking at people to always give us something free and start investing. So I want to leave you with these quotes that I, I shared on my social media platform this morning. So the first one was, the bad news is time flies. The good news is that you're the pilot. And the author of this is Michael Alt. Alt Schuler, I guess that's how you say his name. Yo, that's powerful. And I love it because it says, while time flies, you don't control time. I don't control time. I can't slow it down and I can't speed it up. But I'm in control of how I spend my time. And what was the question that, that, that Les Brown asked? How much time do you put into your dream? Mm. So I need you to really think about that. The other quote that I wanted to share with you all, I shared this on Facebook this morning. It says, I had to take you from where you thought you needed to be 
to a place you didn't want to see. Come on, somebody. So that you would grow into the person that I called you to be. And it just says God. Mm. Like I said, I don't know who that message is for. But if you look at your life and you see where God has removed you from someplace... It could be a job, it could be a relationship, it could be where you were living, a car you were driving, doesn't matter what it is. And then God had to give you, show you something else. And you say, Lord, I never dreamed that I would be at this place doing this. But that's because he needed to remove you from one place, show you something else, so he could take you where he really needed you to be. Come on, somebody. And then the last quote I have is, the gap between the life that you want and the life that you're living is called mindset, focus, and consistency. Now, this quote is unknown. Let me unpack that just a little bit, and I promise I'm going to let you be. So, when you think about success, you have to have the right mindset. And one of the mindsets that really bothers me is when you have people that sit back thinking that folks owe them something. So they're going to sit back and they're not going to do, excuse me, I'm my eyes itching, but so much because they feel like somebody owes them. Now I'm going to have to repent for what I'm getting ready to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. Nobody owes you a damn thing. Yes, I said what I said because I'm grown. Nobody owes you a damn thing. So if you're sitting around here thinking that folks owe you something, sweetie, you better get it together because nobody owes you anything. Anything that you have, you need to work for it. Why should people sit back and hand you stuff? See, we don't value things as much when we don't have to work for it. Some of y'all sitting back there thinking, well, I ain't going to do a whole lot because, you know, I feel like this God owes me. I'm reading my word every day. I pray every day. He owes me. No, he doesn't owe you anything. Anything that God gives you, it's a blessing. And he didn't have to do it. So stop sitting back thinking that people owe you. You better get your life together. And please don't come to me with that foolishness. Because I'm going to have to tear you down limb from limb. And let you know, if you want it, you have to work for it. All of the greats work for what they have. Oprah worked for what she has. She has her own network. Tyler Perry worked for what he has. He had his own, has his own network, own studio, whatever it is that he has. Everybody that achieved their goals, Walt Disney, all of the greats, they have what they have. Bob Yates, they have what they have. You know why? Because they worked. They didn't sit back waiting for anybody to hand them anything. And then your focus. Where's your focus? Some of you are going to have a hard time. I'm not going to say that you won't be successful because I don't believe in telling people that. But you're going to have, have a hard time being successful because your focus is, is, it's, your focus is either off or it's divided amongst too many things. And I know for me, my mind is always working, always working. And I have to rein it in sometimes. So I'm sure that's a good idea. Write that down in your journal and then put it to the side. Stay focused on this. Don't let that stuff over here sidetrack you. Because it's so easy to get sidetracked. But where's your focus? If you know that you are trying to grow a business, you need to be focused on that. Your focus shouldn't be out here hanging in the streets with your friends. And being as though we're in the midst of COVID, you shouldn't be hanging out in the streets any dang old way, but I digress. But you need to have your focus needs to be on point. If I'm trying to get from A to C, I am focused straight ahead. I don't need anything trying to deter me to the, to the right or to the left. I need to stay straight and focused on where it is that I'm trying to go. So where's your focus? And then lastly, consistency. How consistent are you when it comes to working on your goals and your dreams? So you can't be successful and then work on your goals and dreams every now and then. You just can't. Or I should say it's going to take you much longer to get there. You've got to be consistent. That means every day, every day, every day without fail, you are working on your goal and your dreams. It doesn't matter if all you have is an hour or two to work on it. Be consistent. Do those things. That's your homework. Change your, your mindset, get focused, and stay consistent. And I prob you, promise you, you'll find that wherever it is that you're trying to get to, you're going to get there a whole lot faster. Y'all, that's my time. I love you all to the moon and back. And we will be back, or I should say we, I will be back tomorrow with another motivational topic to help you 
get moving and be successful. Until then, take care.